young talent is coming to Rochester, taking on some timeless hits, some dating back to before they were born. The legendary Dionne Warwick is one of the executive producers of Hits, the musical. It's at Kodak Center on March 3rd. And this morning, we are joined by two of the singers, the singers ranging in age from 10 to 22. The two we have this morning, Lily Greenberg and Matthew Jost. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Morning. Thanks for having us. So first and foremost, how is it to be on tour? Um, it's incredible. It's uh, we're, we're just finishing up rehearsals right now, but it's an incredible feeling to be a part of this cast. And it's just we're so glad we're here. And it's true. Oh, no, please go ahead. Here. Lily, take it away. All of our dreams was to be doing something like this on a big stage and traveling the country, and now we're getting to live that out. So the long days are all worth it just to be up on that stage. Now, let me ask, how old are the two of you? Because when, when you see some of these great, the greatest hits ever written performed by, by young talent, I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, I'm personally 21 and... I'm 15. So, Lily, you're like right at that age mark, aren't you? Oh, I feel like a grandma here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've got a long way to go. Uh, for both of you, what was it like? What was that moment like when you found out you were cast in this show? They had us go on to a Zoom call, and they were, like, having us go on to a meeting, but they actually were telling us that we got into the show, and we got these, like, golden tickets that they sent to our homes, and we got to open it up, and it was such a cool experience to be with the entire creative team on Zoom telling us that we got into Hits the Musical. That's absolutely amazing. Now, Lily, talk us through some of the lineup. What can people expect to see in here? I know you got dancers, you got singers, just tons and tons of talent. What can people yeah. expect? So the premise of the show, it's a jukebox musical, a lot of songs, around 30 to 40 second snippets of each song. And it takes you through a through a journey of what a hit is. And so every single age can relate to one era of hits. So in the... Uh, um, first act, we have a rock medley and a stage and screen medley. And so those are going to be your musical theater, your movie, your um, classic rock songs, you know. Mm -hmm. Think Last Dance for Mary Jane, Sweet Child of Mine, Pinball Wizard, all of those uh -huh. kinds of songs. And then the second act takes you through pop of each decade. So we have a 60s medley, a 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And through that, you really get to see what was going on, not only in the United States, but in the world through music. So there's a little bit of monologue between each of the medleys that talks about what was happening in the 60s and in the 70s and why music was so important. And then you get to watch that journey through young talent, high pace, lots of costumes, intense dancing, so much lighting. Um, it's really a lot of beautiful things to watch. And those are just, I mean, that's a handful of the 80 songs, eight zero songs that are in this show. That's just absolutely incredible. Do you two have favorites? Uh, or do, or favorite. do you have, do you have newfound favorites? A song that you might have heard, maybe your parents or grandparents probably were playing the song and you found out it was in this show and you were like, wow, this is, this is pretty incredible. Um, I feel like uh, what's going on uh, uh, was it's saying by um, it's the opening of Act Two. Uh, what's going on? Uh, just an incredible song, and I I used to listen to it, but I've just been listening to it every day now. And it's just the way that we implement it into our show is an incredible. It's just it's such it's so heart wrenching, and it just makes you feel like you just want to hug uh, Jaleel, who's singing it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Lily, for you. Part of me loves like the songs that are my solos because I get to be on that stage. So Sweet Child of Mine is probably my favorite solo, but it's just also amazing to watch the rest of the cast sing the song. So he sings Last Dance for Mary Jane. Um, and it's just a beautiful rendition with beautiful harmonies. And I'm about to come on stage. So I get the privilege of watching all the people up there playing and singing and yeah, just being at them. I, I have to imagine uh, some of your family has seen some rehearsals or performances or seen you at home, you know, trying stuff out. What, what are their thoughts? What's their reaction? Um, well, my dad's been here. My mom has come down too, but they just, they love the show. Um, 
we we just are in love with the show. It's an incredible experience. Um, they're just blown away by the talent and the cast, especially with the dancers, because I'm personally not a dancer. <laughs> um, I've, I've never really danced, but the way that they just see the dancers move, it's just incredible. And the singing as well. They really are in love with the show. The same for you, Lily? Well, my parents are just so proud. Like, they love watching me get to be up there and doing it with such an amazing cast. Like, watching my dreams come true is all that they can ask for. So the fact that it's this way is a privilege, and if it was any other way, they would also be beaming. But they're seeing it in, like, seven different cities, so <laughs> I think they like it a lot. Oh, well, that sounds fantastic. Uh, I, I want to know, what, what cities are you two most excited to visit, and have you ever been to Rochester? What do you know about Rochester? I don't know that much about Rochester. Much about Rochester. Yes, no? You have to tell us. Um, we, uh, well, we're both from New York City. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to be playing in Town Hall, but we're going to be at the Kodak Center, uh, the, the theater in Rochester on the 3rd, and it's just, we're really excited for it. I, we've never, a lot of these places that we're touring, we've never really been to, so we're really excited to be able to see uh, new parts of, country, of the country, and it's just, yeah, it's really cool. Well, Rochester has some great food. Uh, we have some great, rich history as well, so if you do get a chance, get yourself a garbage plate, uh, visit the Susan B. Anthony house. I mean, there's tons of do to do here. You and your families will absolutely love it. The cast of Hits the Musical will be in Rochester on March 3rd, performing at Kodak Theater. We will post all of the ticketing information on our website after the show this morning. Lily Greenberg and Matthew Jost, thank you both so much for waking up with us. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Best of luck and break a leg. We look forward to it. And we will be right back.